what we build is like, it's called a mini Baja car. Um, it's a SAE, Society of Automotive Engineers, sponsored event um, for a bunch of colleges and universities. There's probably, you know, 200 colleges that compete. It's basically a single driver, um, open wheel, off-road race car. This is the 2011-2012 car. It's called ML08. Uh, so basically we start in the fall semester and design a complete car and starting in the spring semester, usually in January, we build and fabricate the entire car. Most of it's fabricated in-house, either here in Autolab or the machine shop. And each team raises basically their own budget. The school's amount of money varies, but is usually pretty small. But you try and get sponsors like GM or other big companies to sponsor you. So it's really how well your team does in getting sponsors. So we have a business team that looks for sponsors and keeps our relationship with the sponsors. So um, we're the only sub-team on the Baja team that's not technical related. Uh, so we deal with all of the administrative work, um, all of the sponsorships, logos, designs, posters, that kind of thing. So this here um, is going to be the removable gas tank box. So this goes on here like this and this hinge will be applied using rivets to allow for it to come up and down. Now this is important for the car because it um, will make refueling a lot faster because you can just have a full gas tank, have it in here, then when you're refueling you just lift it up, pull that one out and put a whole new one in. Um, so that's really handy during the endurance race. Uh, all right, so that's the car. Danny made a nice rendering of it for the design report. Uh, we worked for quite a bit on that, but we passed it in with three minutes to spare last night. So that's done in 32 days till the car is finished. So that's about a month. So that's coming right up pretty fast. Uh, kind of need to get going on some things. Um, and then 45 days until we're at competition. Uh, I made a second electron box, I gotta pop that, it's very stuck. And um, Alex and Miles moved all the foam that was blocking the apparent electronics panel that we didn't know was there in ELL. So yeah, now we are safe. Uh, okay. um, I'm a little worried about only having two weeks until competition, but not as worried as in previous years at all. At competition, there's a few different dynamic events. Uh, like we car competes in acceleration, maneuverability, uh, suspension course. And then the final day is a four hour endurance race against all the other teams at once. Uh, I hesitate to say we're going to win because I don't want to jinx it, but I think in the first competition in Alabama, we have a very high probability of being top three. Um, so looking at the competition, I can pick out about 10 or so teams that are good, and with how our car is coming along, I think we can definitely be top three. So right now we're actually getting ready to be completely done with the car, um, and so we can then tear everything down and then like clean everything, whereas last year we were still building things on the way to competition. Um, you can 
Even if you're not directly doing something, um, a lot of times we sit down here and like do our homework so we can be kind of sort of on call, I guess. Um, in terms of actually hours working, I, I mean, it's probably like 40 hours a week. It, it's like a full-time job, basically. If I don't accidentally fall asleep again. Have to wash some things to wear and then put them in a bag. <laughs> what? They're just sitting there, cute crackhead, with your dirty t shirt, failing at dirty muffins. <laughs> well, that's the last time I slept was like. No, I know. It's just funny crazy. though, because you're probably making more dirt on the paper than like pencil marks at this point. Do you think you're going to go to bed before you leave? Or are you just going to sleep in the car? Sleep in the car? Yeah. We've got another like eight hours to go. Yeah, I've already stayed awake for like, I don't know, 40. So what's another what's eight? <laughs> Competitions are serious game time. Uh, there's definitely not a lot of relaxing. Hopefully, assuming nothing goes wrong, Basically, we're all going to just be there and kind of rolling the car around, going through the steps at competition, making sure you know we get past the tech and the design. Two people in the car, everybody else needs to be This year I'm hoping that I'm not going to be the one running design presentations. I'm kind of setting it up so the team leaders this year will kind of be in charge of all that kind of stuff. So 
pretty much everyone has a personal attachment to the car and wants to see it do well. Anytime anything breaks, it's kind of a disaster because although usually only one person's part breaks, it's still bad for the entire team. Year. In both across both competitions, we had four maneuverability races, four maneuverability tracks we ran on. We finished none, so it was kind of it was kind of a wake-up call because previously we had always finished first, second, third in maneuverability, and suddenly we didn't finish at all. So hopefully this year, the improvements to the suspension and to the steering will make up for that. But it's a little bit of a mystery going into competition. Every single event we are capable of a top 10 finish in this year, and most of them were capable of a top 3 finish. And from my experience, if you can get top 10 in like all the dynamic events, design, things like that, and going into endurance, you'll definitely be in the top 3, and it all comes down to that race, whether, what place you can get. It's definitely a fun experience to drive, and especially the endurance race. It's wheel to wheel with a bunch of other cars, so it's a little bit of an adrenaline rush, and it's exciting. It's definitely an experience I'm glad I've had.
something breaks, you like have to fix it, and you have to fix it fast, and oftentimes you don't have exactly what you need to fix it. So you're kind of scrambling around, trying to like jig together some like solution for the problem. Ben Colby said drive shut down. I don't know drive shaft. Okay. Going to the rock, the big white rock. Yeah. Rolled up on the one at the top there. design your own stuff and I hope that I'll be able to continue with that. Um, I also love the hands-on aspect of you know actually getting to build what you thought of. Like you get to like you know make cool stuff, design things really like push cutting edge things which is like you know an engineer's dream. Thank you. 